Good morning. Welcome to the Daybreak Show. I am the Sultan. We'll get started, but first, mushroom coffee. Perfect. Just the way that I like it on a cold, rainy winter morning. Nice. It's good to be back in the cozy nook. A lot of people don't know, I was sick for over a week. I ended up getting the flu. It was positively diagnosed. I had gotten uh, chills and fever and all that stuff. Went to the clinic. They swabbed my nose. They did what they call a rapid test. And it came back positive for the flu. Which means that I needed to just chill for about 10 days. What I didn't chill was the daybreak show. I would end up doing the daybreak show and then going back to bed. And I even had to take some days off from work. Long story short, my sponsors, I am back. I'm strong. I'm feeling good. And I will be getting back with all my sponsors within the next couple days. I go right from here to work, or right to the shower, and then get ready for work in the morning. And uh, sponsors have been reaching out to me, wondering uh, what is going on. That is what's been happening. Since it's just me, I don't have a production crew. The show is strictly on my shoulders. And uh, when I was sick, <clears throat> I was lucky if I got a good hour or two a day of clear, straight work done. And man, did I fight it. But the only thing that helped my health was literally just sipping on bone broth and tea and being under the covers. That was it. I could not, could not speed up the recovery. Now I'm good. I already got a good workout in. So that's the story. But thank you for your patience, definitely. Just the sound of cable news can make you sick. It increases stress and lowers your immune response. It's a 100% biological response to chaos. That is why many people watch me some people have actually watched me not because of the content, but because of the immune response of how their body feels after watching the show. It is what I call the Bob Ross or Mr. Rogers effect. You literally feel different in your body the minute you put on news. Stress goes up. It's important that you expose yourself where, where stress goes down. And I'm happy to say that this show contributes to the lowering of stress in a lot of people's bodies. Waste zero time on events, people, or work that doesn't give you a tangible return. Thinking that it will get you somewhere or that you're going to be found by some entity that's going to change your life is completely delusional. From a pure business point of view, it's a bad investment to waste time on people and events and work that do not give you a tangible return. Stephen Stills was looking at Judy Collins as he sang the summation of their relationship, which was about to end. His joy of having her and the pain of losing her came out in the first take of this song, Chestnut Brown Canary, Ruby Throated Sparrow, Sing a Song, Don't Be Long, Thrill Me to the Marrow. Stephen Stills, 1969. One of the best writers ever. 
It's a scientifically proven fact that when you see the words, you can check out any time you like, but you can never leave, that you will play the entire double lead guitar riff in your head. Some of you will understand that. A healthy, loving, happy relationship is one of the greatest mysteries of our human condition. It's an intangible dynamic that most people long for, but very few actually experience. In our fast-paced world, there is very little time to cultivate a loving relationship. You don't work on a relationship. You need to work on it. Mm -mm. Cultivate. Cultivate. And that has to be on a regular basis. Are you looking for a new place to live? Drive down the alleys in a town that are in between the blocks and look in the backyards. If you see wrapped fig trees, tomato and pepper plant stakes, you know that it's a safe neighborhood, if you know what I mean. The neighborhood gets bonus points if you see Blessed Virgin statues. That's a very safe place to live. Few will understand that, too. Sometimes it'll seem like somebody opened up the shit door in your life. You can't avoid it, but you can overcome it. You have to look and see what role that you play if the shit keeps hitting the fan in your life. And that's just called taking responsibility for everything in your life. With a quiet faith, you will walk taller, smile more, because your smile is the key that unlocks doors of opportunity. You will have less panic about your future, and it unplugs you from the doomsayers and those that are in the despair loop. A quiet faith. The values of your grandfather actually work. Try them. One of the watchers of the program wrote yesterday in response, I believe his name was Garrick, <clears throat> he said, I would say I'm in a low stress marriage. This is very notable. But that doesn't mean we're stress free. We have tensions at times, but that is normal. What's important is handling the tensions in the right way before they turn into arguments. That's good advice. Thank you for that. Make women 1955 again. Here's a picture of Sophia Loren, Yvonne DiCarlo, and Gina Lola Brigida. Make women 1955 again. Get huge, get big, get rich, and then you can make your own rules. The only reason why no one listens to you is that, that you're not huge. Money and numbers talk. Everyone else has to beg and kiss ass. A great reason to be successful, if it's within your capability. Your three best friends this year are going to be sanity, clarity, and reason. You've heard those words before, haven't you? Invite them into your life and business. You and they should be indistinguishable. When people think you, they should think sanity, clarity, and reason. Probably one of the reasons why you watch the Daybreak Show is you get a dose of common sense and sanity, and clarity, and reason. All associations and collaborations should include your new three friends, sanity, clarity, and reason. And one thing that you'll notice is this, is that your three new friends will bring you more money than any of your other friends. That is no lie. 
I worked with a guy once, an inmate in a prison, and he had a tattoo of a phoenix on him. And I just thought, how ironic. And I came up with the phrase, that's as ironic as a lifer in prison with a phoenix tattoo. Very few will get that one, too. I like to consider this positive talk radio for men and women. Of course, it started out as a men's channel, but now there's a lot of women that enjoy this show. Positive talk radio. Finish your coffee, and I'll see you tomorrow on the Daybreak Show. The true home, the only home of sanity, clarity, and reason. Your first lesson is how to open up the daybreak show. It goes like this. Stir in your coffee with chopsticks. Using the vortex method. The only true way to optimize the taste of your coffee at the molecular level. Ah, very good. Welcome to the Daybreak Show. I am the Sultan. We'll get started, but first...